嗨，各位同学好，欢迎来到 Forty f o r t 自然音标 ，Forty f o r t 自然音标的课程。今天老师要为你介绍的是 Vocabulary of the Day，Vocabulary of the Day。同样的，我们今天可以到 CN.com、Edition.CN.com 去寻找本日的 Headline News of the Day， 并且从中去学习，找寻到一些单词，并且去学习它的拼音技巧以及逻辑。Okay, students. Let's go to the cn.com edition. dot cn. dot com, and we are looking for some interesting article, and we can read about it, and we can learn probably from some vocabulary from a story, and we can learn their、uh, pronunciation skill. Okay, for today's top stories. For today's top story, here I have a, a interesting article titled "Trump's Republican Nightmare Scenario." Trump's Republican Nightmare Scenario. Okay, let's go to、uh, let's click on this article title, and、uh, we can probably、uh, see what's going on、uh, from the inside news. Of、uh, Trump's、uh, story. Okay, students, if you want to study with me with this article title, what I want you to do is on the top right hand side you will see a search bar, search menu from CNN, and I want you to type this article title. 好，请各位同学把这个啊文章的标题。打到这个 search bar 啊、uh, search menu 里面 ，okay the search menu 啊、uh, uh, I want you to type this article title GOP establishment worries about cruise Trump showdown GOP establishment worries about cruise Trump showdown again GOP establishment Worries about Cruz and Trump showdown. Okay, what is the story highlight? Ted Cruz has overtaken Donald Trump in recent Iowa polls. Neither man is the favorite of the Republican establishment, but they are pulling away from the other contenders. CNN called it the Republican establishment establishment. Nightmare scenario: The GOP establishment confronted by a re- recalcitrant electorate that refuses to lead Donald Trump is being forced to take a fresh look at Ted Cruz, a man with grassroots strands in key early primary states and a few friends in Washington. Suddenly, the Republican Party's best hope could be a man hell bent on the transforming it as in a senator who openly spars with the fellow GOP colleagues and has a campaign by painting its leader as spineless and feeble. That poll, Clinton beating Trump, cruise by not Rubio. Heading into Tuesday's CNN Republican presidential debate, Cruz and Trump have turned Iowa into a two-man race with the Texan leading in two new polls. Cruz is up 31 percent to Trump's 21 percent among likely GOP caucus goers, according to the Bloomberg Politics Desk Moines. Register poll released Saturday. A Fox News poll said Sunday has Cruz leading Trump, 28 percent to 26 percent. Okay, students, I'm going to stop right here. I think it's enough. And and now,、uh, if you want to do a further study, you can always check the story yourself and read it.、Uh, read the headline news. Uh, and the inside story from the story, uh, uh, storytelling, uh, and you probably you can uh, 
uh, try to uh, uh, learn some grammar pattern or uh, pronunciation uh, from the story and then now let's go to the uh, let's go to the vocabulary starting now and please read the headline news with me now debate nine in Sing city Trump's Republican nightmare scenario again please read along with me debate nine in Sing city Trump's Republican nightmare scenario debate nine in Sing city Trump's Republican nightmare scenario okay now Let's take a look at uh, the vocabulary. There are two vocabularies for today, uh, two vocabulary words for today. And what I want you to do, uh, and we are going to define those vocabularies, meaning, usage, pronunciation, and definition. Uh, we we'll use a spelling B, pronunciation, and the spelling improvement and skill. Let's take a look at the first and second vocabulary word uh, we're going to read. One, uh, read the first time uh, the, for both uh, vocabulary, and we're going to, you, you, guys, you guys need to follow me uh, when we're doing the second time. Okay, let's take a look at the first vocabulary words nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Definition of nightmare in English none of frightening or unpleasant dream. I have nightmares after watching the horror movie for more example synthesis. I can hardly believe I slept so well, no dreams, nightmares or visions to contemplate this morning. Origin, Middle English denoting a female evil spirit thought to lie upon the suffocate sleepers from night and the old English Mare incubus and the second book can be word scenario 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 definition of scenario in English noun plural scenarios a write an outline of a movie novel or stage working giving details of the plot and the individual scenes Imagine the scenarios for four short stories. For example, synthesis. He entered the film industry, taking small part roles and writing scenarios for the London Film Company. Origin, late 19th century from Italian, from Latin, Cena, scene. Now I'm going to repeat the pronunciation and definition part for those two vocabulary words. Please follow me. Nightmare. 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 Definition of nightmare in English. Numb. A frightening or unpleasant dream. I had a nightmare after watching the horror movie. More example synthesis. I can hardly believe I slept so well. No dreams, nightmares, or visions to contemplate this morning. Origin, Middle English denoting a female evil spirit thought to lie upon the suffocate sleepers from night and the old English mare, incubus. Scenario, scenario, scenario. Definition of scenario in English, number of scenarios, a written Outline of a movie, novel, or stage work, giving details of the plot and individual scenes. Imagine the scenarios for four short stories. More example synthesis. He entered the film industry, taking small part roles and writing scenarios for the London Film Company. Origin, late 19th century from Italian, from Latin, Cena, scene. Okay, student, so now it's the time we're going to do redefine those two vocabulary words and we're using phonics, uh, pronunciation and spelling, improvement and skill. Let's take a look at the first vocabulary words.
nightmare. N i g h t. e n t e r p a n mare. Middle English denoting female evil. Spirit thought lie upon the suffocate sleepers. Nine, mare. 好，那我们看这个 nightmare， 它是怎样？双重音，哈、哦、，night 加 mare， 好、哦，这是两个古英文哈，古英文 mare， 好、哦，所以意思 night 加 mare 哈、哦，这样组合。那因为双重音，所以啊，我们看它是两个音节都是 strong syllable， 好、哦，两个音节都是 strong syllable，strong syllable。好，既然是 strong， 我们就看它的组合了。它就啊，看它有没有首音、合音、尾音。好，所以 night 首音是什么 ？onset 是什么 ？n nucleus 是 i coda 是 g h t。那当然 g h 又不发音，所以它是什么 ？c v c c c。那刚好 G H 又不发音啊，但是 combination C V C C C。那第二个音节呢，开头的首音 onset 是 M 啊，然后怎样呢 ？nucleus 很好玩 ，nucleus 是什么 ？A R E air 哦、啊，所以它是它是什么 ？C V R V。的组合，所以我们看 night 再一遍 n i g h t， 我们看它的自然音标的画法，这 g h 画双线 ，i 念长母音啊，所以它念什么 night night g h 不发音 ，i 念长母音啊 night mare 呢？好，第二音节，所以我们画三连音啊 ，onset。啊、哦、，m 照抄，那 a 呢？我们念短母音且破音，所以念 mare。哦，所以它是第一个 a 跟第二个 r 做组合，念一个 air、哦。好，那那它念一个短母音且破音，它是是 variant variant short vowels variant short vowel a adds short vowel。e， 所以 a 去念出 e 的短母音，所以我们再再念一遍 ，night mare night mare long vowel i silent g h night。Short vowel a as short vowel e, variant a as short vowel e, mare, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Okay, let's take a look at second vocabulary. Scenario. 这就比较复杂一点了。这个只是解释方法。十九世纪意大利文啊。所以大家当然，意大利文它的规则就特别了哈，所以它中音的，好，第二音节以及最后一个第四音节 ，scenario，scenario， Scenario, 因为中音在二跟四，这边是 strong， 所以我们先把 weak 轻音节一三把它标出来，一三都标弱母音，那 c 跟 e 合起来。啊，所以我们看 C E 合起来 ，C E C I C Y 合起来都是念什么？所以这是我们 C E 合起来，那 E 念 E C C C， 或者我们念 S S S， 那 I 呢才念 E O E E。好，所以我们先看哈 C N。re， 哦，好，所以这边先不要落音，所以我们这边画双线 s。那这里我们看 a r i， 
一样哈、哦，在这个地方我们看 ARI combination， 所以第二个音节有强母音的地方，它是 onside onside n nucleus AR 哦，所以我们要 nucleus ARI 哦，三连音。那最后一个音节 nucleus O。所以这个 A R I 我们一样 ，A 加 R 加 I， 所以第一个念 short vowel A， 短母音，且破音，然后 weak vowel I， 所以 A R I 我们就念 every， 啊，所以这样的破音字念法是念 every， 啊 ，nary， 那最后一个 nucleus 只有只有 nucleus， 只有母音，所以念长母音 O。我们看再一遍 ，sin n a r r y o 好，所以我们看音标 ，sin n a r y s i n n a r y 然后最后一个 o 直接拉长音 ，scenario。Scenario, scenario. One more time. Scenario. Oh. 啊，这样看起来就比较了解了哈。好，我们再来看，再一遍，复习这两个单词 ：nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare, scenario, scenario, scenario. OK， 同学们，如果你觉得 David 老师用这种 phonic 啊的方式来展现出 phonetic 音标啊自然发音的方式公式，来带领你进入音标的世界。比如 f o r e i g n 啊的双向用线形来表达母音的短母音、长母音、双母音、轻母音的发音形式，或者啊特殊的子音组合啊所发出来的特规的子音的发音，如双二合音、不发音啊，以及一些特殊音啊啊，用自然音标的方式来解决你发音的方式，以及增加你的逻辑概念，对你有所帮助的话，也欢迎大家用 Google Plus 加 David 老师做好友。Google Plus, David T T N G L A, add me into your friend, uh, Google Friend Circle, or you can also write me an email, David T T N G L A at gmail dot com. I'm also using Line Communicator. My Line ID is David T One Six A A. Feel free to drop me an email or hi. At last, thanks for your video watching and video sharing my videos, and、uh, I wish you the best to conquer English. 以上就是今天的 vocabulary of the day， 谢谢各位观赏。